Hey all, I'm Propagandist and welcome back to Let's Watch Ruby Volume 5. This is the 14th part now. We're about to get into the final episode of this volume. Now, I should actually start by saying I've actually made two earlier attempts at recording this. Fortunately, I didn't get very far into it because um, basically the first time around my Bandicam, which I used to uh, do screen recording functions so I get the footage of the actual episode, that actually, um, a few seconds in, actually um, glitched out and uh, stopped recording for some reason. Second time around, my computer blue screened on me. I don't know why. It just like it's, it seems like my computer's determined not to let me watch this episode. So hopefully third time lucky. But uh, where do I begin? I mean, all kinds of things have been kicking off the last couple of episodes. It's been getting very, very intense. And um, <clears throat> I mean, just to try and provide a summary there. So Raven and Cinder have their little showdown in the vault beneath the school and um, for all intents and purposes I'm pretty sure Cinder is now dead. That's it for that character. She's been finished off. Unless, of course, Rooster Teeth decide to bring her back. But, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if they would. But, uh, who knows? I, I have no idea. We'll, we'll see when Volume 6 arrives. But um, other than that, of course, Blake is now back with the rest of her team members and she's brought an army with her. So not just some, but her family and all of the former people who've uh, come together to try and stop the White Fang, to uh, try and sabotage the White Fang's plan to destroy Haven. So uh, that's, you know, come, come to a fruition here, and so uh, our team is now back together. Good. Weiss seems to be okay uh, for the moment, which is, you know, thank God for that. <laughs> After the uh, absolute shock and horror of the previous couple of episodes when she got friggin' impaled. Good lord, that was uh, quite a moment that was. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time really blabbing any further about what happened previously. I just want to get straight into the episode because I want to see how it um, <clears throat> how it wraps up. So, the episode title of chapter 14 is Downfall. So, that could mean the downfall of Leo, who is still around. Uh, it could mean the downfall of Raven, perhaps, because, of course, episode 13 uh, left off with Yang and Raven facing off against each well, they weren't fighting, but they were sort of facing each other down in the vault. Yang's gone to intercept her, so we might definitely see more in that regard. But, uh, I mean, you know, those are just my thoughts. So let's actually, without further ado, get into it. So I'll see you in a second, everybody. Okay, so getting into the episode in three, two, one, go. Here we go, everybody. Cursor down there. Right, so the Mistral Police have arrived. Are these Wai Fang folks gonna resist? What's Adam gonna do? Oh yeah, Anelia is now on the good side, in case you'd forgotten already. <laughs> so hopefully my computer won't crash this time. But like I say, you know, I didn't get too far into the episode, so this will for the most part be a blind reaction. Thank you. I guess all is forgiven in your regard then. In regards to you, that is. I'm going to make you regret yeah. ever coming back. More police are on their way, Adam. Huntsman too. <laughs> Still too afraid to face me on your own. I'm here for Haven, not you. <laughs> you tell him. <laughs> yeah. That's what we want to hear. You are still afraid, and you should be. I've made powerful friends while you've been away. Oh yeah? Where? Tell me, does Blake make all of her classmates fight for her? Nah, it's a volunteer gig. I'm just saying, for someone who claims to have such great friends, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight for you. Oh, ah, yeah, your troops have uh, surrendered. What are you gonna do, Taurus? You hey, can boy. try and make me regret coming here, Adam. <clears throat> but honestly. I've got more important things to deal with. Your friends, for a start. I always love Sun's uh, staff, how he does that thing with the pistols, disengages, and he has like different little flintlocks. Really good. Some of the weapons in this are so well designed. We can't. The thought out. He wants to lure us away so he can pick us off. Very imaginative. We need to protect the school and the people here. Besides. Mm. Yes. Now he can see what it feels like to run away. <laughs> yeah. Trash talk. Thank you. Eh, we all need help right. sometimes. Come on, Blake, get back in there with your friends. I think they're the people who could use yours. Hmm. 
Well said. Be careful. No promises. I'm on edge at the moment for two reasons. One, because you know it's been a shit storm so far in the actual terms of the fighting. Survival. And secondly, I don't know how that big guy's still standing. Because I'm always worried about my computer crashing again <laughs> part way through the recording. <laughs> Oh yes. Just need to get him to his limit. Hazel's proving to be a bit of a tough guy. And Weiss can uh, summon other stuff besides the giant knight things as well, it seems. Oh. <laughs> well, that didn't work out too well for you, did it? Oh no. Here she is. She's back. No. I just remember you being more of the quiet one. <laughs> Oof. Not today. Epic walk. All right. Well, okay. What's the plan, Ruby? What is the plan? Good question. Oh. Oh, your aura's down, buddy. Time to get out. No, <laughs> wow, he's actually running. Okay. Be kidding me. That's the name of a move, isn't it? And also the name of a ship, but. <laughs> Is that not the Weiss you, Blake one? Ah. I gave you every opportunity to walk away from Crow and Oz. Okay, time for a show down so here, I think. Believe me when I say this wasn't personal. You open the vault. Thanks to the chaos you and your friends caused upstairs. I knew you could handle it. You're my daughter, after all. Crow and Oz told me how the maiden powers were transferred. The girl you found. She would have had to have trusted you if you were in her final thoughts. Not necessarily. I'm sure they told you plenty, and you just sat and obeyed. No. I've asked Starting this question previously. Said. So tell me, what happened to the last Spring Maiden? Did you murder Did you her? Did die in battle? Was it sickness? What does it matter to you? Yeah. You can already see the answer. It's all over your face. How she murdered her. Mm. She was scared when we found her. Weak. No matter how much training I put her through, she never learned. She wasn't cut out for this world. And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. What I did... Wasn't personal. It was mercy. Which is it, Mom? Are you merciful? Or are you a survivor? Did you let me walk into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? It's not that simple. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. The choices I've had to make. You're right. I don't know you. I only know the Raven Dad told me about. She was troubled and complicated. But she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. Did you kill her too? Oh. Is it Summer Rose? I death in the face over and over again and every time I've spat in that and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. Oh, shut up! You don't know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others in harm's way instead of yourself. You might be powerful, but that doesn't make you strong. Who do you think you are lecturing me? Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. Yeah. I'm scared, but I'm still standing here. Mm. I'm not like you. I won't run, which is why you're going to give me the relic. And why would I? Because you're afraid of Salem. And if you thought having maiden powers put a target on your back, imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. She'll come after you with everything she has. Or she could come mm. after me. Oh. And I'll be standing there, waiting for her. Hmm. A little heart to heart between mummy and daughter. You don't want to do this, Yang. Nope. But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh. 
I'm sorry. Yeah. Join the club. Join the good guys. Ilya, Ilya's now in the good guys. You can join the good guys, can't you? Oh no, you've just turned into a bird and flown off. Okay, yeah. Of course. Oh boy. Can you do it, Yang? Can you take that relic? Again, I think I've said this before. I've actually forgotten which relic it is. Because it's been so long since my last recording session of Ruby Volume 5. Which one was it? Was it... Actually, I can't even remember. I mean, I know the full relics. Knowledge creation, destruction... What was the other one? Um, choice. That was it, yeah. That was the four of them. Ooh. Tangible expressions of those four qualities. Well, at least my computer hasn't uh, crashed again so far, hopefully. Fingers crossed, third time is the charm. We're definitely beyond the point where it crashed in my first two attempts. So hopefully this time it'll stay together. Wow. What did you do with your robot arm? Did you just leave it upstairs? It exists. Yep. Oh dear. <clears throat> oh. Ah, what are we going to do about you? Where's Watts? Uh oh. Oh, it's that thing. And where might you be going? Oh, your grace. I was just looking for something. <laughs> sure. Leonardo, do you have something you wish to tell me? It was Cinder. She altered the plan. Huntsman showed up here. Crow. Several students. One with the silver eyes. White Fang attack it was stopped. I don't know that they'll be able to recover the relic. Oh, you're so fucked. <laughs> Your Grace, I can still be of assistance. If I leave now, I, I can avoid the authorities and come find you. I'll do whatever it takes. No, you won't. Grace. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Please, ma'am. I'll do anything. I can still be useful. Oh. Oh, that's uh. Yep, yeah, he's dead. That's the downfall of Leo, as I anticipated. Well, what are you going to do about this, Salem? Coward. <laughs> That's enough! Just give up. It's not over. Cinder will come back. She'll have the relic, and she'll stop all of you. No. Nope. She won't let us down. Ha <laughs> Get wrecked. Yeah. Don't take your eyes off the villains, not now. <clears throat> yep, she knows. Cinder's dead. But what does that mean for Emerald and Mercury? Oh, don't just let them go, seriously. Emerald. Ah! Oh. Huh? No, it's an illusion. <clears throat> oh, there's some big tentacle fingers. It's an illusion. It's not real. See? You shouldn't have taken your eyes off her. 
What was that? An illusion. But an accurate one. That was Salem. Mm. So you've seen her for the first time. <clears throat> It's family time. Group hug. The police rounded up the remaining white <coughs> sailors. Haven is safe. Unfortunately, it appears that Adam escaped. It's okay. He was the only one to escape tonight. Those in the White Fang that followed him won't support a leader that abandons his people. He won't have their help after this. He'll have no one at all. Yeah, but Hazel, Mercury, and Emerald are still out there. We'll be left divided. We Can't forget about them. Amongst ourselves for too long. Perhaps it's time for a new brotherhood, a new family for Fauna's truly working towards a better world. And they'll need a new leader. <sighs> How tall is friggin' Blake's father? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you need a reunion with your friends. Not seen them for so long. What happened? I don't know exactly. When I got down there, Cinder was gone. And Vernal was dead. And Draven? Gone. Well, we're all glad you're still here, Firecracker. Are you okay? I feel like I should be asking you guys. So Blake, what are you doing here? I... I was gonna ask you three the same thing. That's Ugh. a long story. Hmm. Well... I'm not going anywhere. That's all that matters. <laughs> that we're all here together. Right? You lost, you found, your heart to pin down. Yeah. I never know if you'll come through. Here, let's have a heartwarming note to end the uh, volume on. Back together. Yes. And that's all that matters somehow. I don't know how, but we did it, Oz. You okay? I'm all right, kid. Oh? He's resting. Too much energy fighting. Oh, hey, is it, don't strain yourself. No. He had... A message. We must get the lamp to Atlas. <laughs> Atlas, okay. To the next kingdom. Does that come in, in volume six? There you go! Wow! That was uh, chapter 14 of volume 5. That was the end of it. I'm just wondering, is there a scene towards the end? That's a good question. It'll just check. Hmm. I don't want to flip forward too far too fast. Just because obviously my, uh, you know, internet speed is not brilliant. There we go, it's buffering a bit. What do we got? It looks like there's something at the end of the credits. Right, here we go. What's this? What's this little scene at the end? Because other volumes have done this before. Ah, back in uh, 
Back at the family home. Oh yeah, Taiyang. Not seen much of you this volume. Oh. Raven? Uh oh. Is that good or bad? Well, that's it then. I think everything else from here is just uh, is just additional uh, advertisements for other rooster teeth off. Okay. Well, there we go. My God, that was the final episode of Volume Five. I finally watched the whole thing. Jeez, man, that was an ending and a half. Fantastic stuff. Okay, I'm going to jump cut, stop the uh, screen recording, and go back to uh, normal uh, webcam, centered on the webcam. You know. So, see you in a second, everybody. Oh man. Well, there we are. So that's it then. Volume Five complete. I've now watched it. Almost a year after it was released, I finally finished it. I'm finally up to date, and I've got all these reaction episodes uploaded. Man, that was quite a good way to actually end the season, I think. So, um, the team is now back together, all, mem all four members of Ruby. Nice little heartwarming moment. And it sounds like they're going to be heading off to Atlas next, the next big kingdom. So, uh, that should be very interesting, actually. Because it potentially means that we're going to see the Schnee family uh, return they're going to be uh, coming back into things once more. So um, I mean, that's just a possibility off the top of my head that I'm just coming out with there. Ma'am, Cinder's dead. Uh, Emerald, Mercury, Hazel and Adam though have escaped. So that's the reason, of course, you need to keep some villains over for the future of the series. What uh, seems to have disappeared? Hmm. I'm guessing he'll... Uh, well, actually, if he's a disgraced Atlesian scientist, then it's possible he may come up in the next volume. He may be one of the primary antagonists there. I definitely want to see more of that character in particular. Just because, I don't know, he looks kind of interesting. I kind of like the character's design. I want to see more of him. So, yeah. Um, of course, they now know what Salem looks like as well. So, you know, they're getting closer and closer. They've got the relic, of course. Uh, Yang brought it out safely. And um, not much else to say. So, fantastic stuff. So, yeah, concluding thoughts really on the volume overall. Very enjoyable. Um, Exposition-wise, the storyline, engaging, gripping as always. Um, fight scenes, of course, because that's one of the big things which I think people coming to Ruby really are looking for. As I've said, you know, previously, they have been a bit hit and miss. Um, ever since, of course, Monty Hume died, unfortunately. Um, it has been difficult for the animators, I think, to kind of live up to the kind of standard that Monty Hume set. But, you know, sometimes they've managed it. Some of the fights, maybe not. You know, some of them are a bit mm, hit and miss, like I say, you know... I think really it just comes down to the animators just need to keep the hand in, keep practicing, and eventually they will get there. But that final fight though between Raven and Cinder, that was fantastic in my eyes. That was done very well. I quite enjoyed watching that one in particular. Oh man, uh, what else can I say? Obviously the aesthetic of um, Ruby you know, has come leaps and bounds since volume one and it was very beautiful to look at uh, in this volume, so fantastic job there, Rooster Teeth. Amazing stuff. Yeah. So that's just some concluding thoughts right there. So uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. And uh, hopefully everyone else out there who watched it enjoyed it as well. <sighs> what else can I say other than time to wrap up here, everybody? So if you're not aware already, of course, uh, Propagandist is my second channel. My main ch uh, channel is General Red Strategist, where I do a lot of gaming content. You can find a link to that down in the video description. There are also a couple of social media pages associated with that account. Again, you can find links to those down below as well. So it's up to you if you want to check that out. Feel free to do so. It's your choice. But uh, other than that, thank you everybody for joining me for this uh, long series of uh, Let's Watch Ruby Volume 5. Apologies that it's taken me so long to actually complete the whole thing. Like I said, um, like I've said in previous episodes, you know, I have a full-time job. YouTube is not my career. I don't even make any money off it. So of course, you know, I can be quite busy IRL. Uh, it's just, you know, it ultimately, it just means you know that it does impinge upon my time to record stuff for YouTube. And since Strategist is my main channel, I do tend to focus on that more than here on Propagandist. But you know, better late than never, I guess. Even if it is freaking months and months and months late. <laughs> But yeah, there we go. So, thank you everybody. This is Propagandist signing off. Actually, just before I do, uh, will I be reacting to um, any other Ruby content? Possibly. If, um, you know, when Volume 6 starts being aired, I may do some reactions to that. I may do a reaction to the Adam Taurus character short. I don't know. It's up to... I mean, it depends how I feel and whether I have time, you know. So yeah, other than that, thank you everybody. I'm signing off now. So this is Propagandist saying goodbye all.